How's it going there? My name's Nick Bell with Line 6, and today we're going to be going over Amplify, the guitar amp we invented. So let's give it a check out right here. This is Amplify 150, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect Amplify. What I do is I press and hold this button for just a few seconds until it blinks. I go over here into my uh, iOS 7 device, and I can see Amplify is right there. All I did was press it, and I'm now connected. So what we're going to do now is this is a high fidelity, an amazing sounding Bluetooth speaker. Right here in the center for the 150, we have a 12 inch speaker with two high end drivers that are shooting up the highs just a couple degrees up so you get that right when you're playing. And then of course our two bass drivers. So what you have here is a true stereo Bluetooth amp but also an amp as a guitar player, you get true fidelity with your pre and post effects in true stereo. So let's just check this out. I'm gonna go into my music player and just over Bluetooth, I'm just gonna choose a song to play. So I'm gonna go into my playlist here and choose my NAMM playlist. And let's just hear how this sounds right here. Pretty good. So it's a pretty good sound, nice and clear. So now with our iOS 7 device here, we have our, our Amplify remote. Now granted, everything in the amp is built in, all the effects, all the modeling is in the amp. Our remote here is simply just a remote. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in, and so this is how the remote opens up. I click my music library, I'm gonna click my playlist, and now I'm gonna go to that same playlist that was on my iTunes library. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose that back in black again. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? So I'm gonna just turn it down a little. And right here, it's already chosen some tones for me. This right here is a community of tones. Now, with our community of tones, you can, you can rate them for one to five stars, and it's the metadata inside of the tone. Every time I pull up a song, it's gonna match, okay, this is ACDC, back in black, so it's gonna pull up that tone. And so what's great about that is we have this community now where people can actually grade and rate tones. And so people can actually be well known for being a great tone writer and people can spread in the community. So to give another perspective, it's already matched my tone. So where do you edit the tone as well? You... Where you edit the tone? Yeah. So if I wanted to edit this tone I got, I could go back into my music library right here and then click my editor. And so right here, it's showing me my amp and my whole signal chain. And so to hear how that sounds. So now let's say if I want to play. So I'm going to go back to my music right here. I'm going to click play. And let's say if I wanted to change the level of my guitar, push, turns white, bring it up a little bit, and now I'm back to main mix. Let's hear that. And so that's pretty much it right there. That was a nice classic sound, classic vintage tone we all know. So what about something maybe a little more heavy? I'm gonna go in my music library once more, go into my playlist, Nam right here, and let's hear uh, Symphony of Destruction. He doesn't look too happy. He doesn't. So what's really cool right here is that I have a recommended tone because it's been graded so much. But on the left, we have this ready to rock symbol. If I click that radio to rock symbol, it's going to favorite it and it will always bring up that favorited tone. So now I'm going to play the song. Kind of turn it up a bit so we could rock out. And I could instantly turn my level down. So we got that right there. 
So that's all pretty dry stuff. I mean, it's all pretty dry. Yeah. Have you got other effects modeling going on in there? Yeah, we could definitely add some more effects. So let's say I like this tone. I like this tone I'm getting here. Just want to make it a little more wet. We're going to go here into the editor. What I'm going to do is I could click my reverb right there and I'm going to bring my mix up. So it's a pretty bright room. Let's say I want to change this reverb. So I'm going to go here and I have all these different reverbs. My favorite reverb is the vintage plate. So I'm going to click vintage plate, done, hear that. Delay. We could go there as well. Amp model. I could go and click my amp, change the amps as well. We have British, American, clean, and also our high gain stuff. Yeah, my uh, my delay is not working on me right now. I'm just probably in beta mode right now. But um, so, so you we, get you get a kind of full edit. I mean, it looks like a sort of more simplified slider it, based. It's a very simplified slider base. Um, you know, for like our XT our XT users, if they're familiar with that stuff, um, that's where the technology has come from. And um, you know, it's just such an easy way of uh, being able to have a great jamming experience. You know, let, let you know. Let's face it. You know, when we've ever jammed with songs, you got to get the CD out. You got to get the music going. All right, now we got to match our tone. You know, by the time you you get all your effects and everything going. It, it, it's time to leave. You know, we don't have all the time in the day. So is the power, because this is this is the 150, right? Yes. Is that divided between the guitar signal and the stereo? Or it is. Or you just crank it all up for the guitar? Or? You could crank it all up. What it is, is it's a tri-amp. It's a three-way amp. Then it's split. It's 150, so it's split up in three ways. So we, we have three sides here. We have this side, our, you know, of course, our 12-inch our right here for our guitar, and then this side right here. So you could crank it up, and it's not pulling the juice from one driver. That's why, you know, I could go here and, you know, let's give it a sound test. And again, I don't need this app to play music. If anything you have from your Mac to your PC has uh, Bluetooth capability, you can do it. Just pair it up. Just pair it up. So I'm going to crank this up a bit. True high fidelity tone. And what's great about that is that when you're playing your guitar and your post effects such as reverb and treble are coming out, they're coming out in true stereo. Also gives us a new option on, on stage and also in the studio. You put up a stereo mic up to that, you're going to get some awesome stereo effects going on. So do you get the main signal, the guitar signal through the 12 and then the stereo coming out? Of the exactly. The right. Exactly. So you were not filling up just one 12 inch, you know, a 12 inch selection with all these different frequencies that a guitar speaker weren't made for. Right. So what this gives us is this gives us true high fidelity where you will hear the you'll hear the reverb, you'll hear your modulation, you'll hear your delays. You were as, you know, in the studio it's always been where you know you'd record your track dry and then add that stuff later. Because trying to get that stuff to come through clearly through a 12 inch in your cab, it can be rough. You know, especially on a hard-driven on a hard-driven tone, but in this way, you know, you've heard me. You heard me with the, uh, you know, with the Megadeth tone. You know, I had that Megadeth tone up, and I was able to turn up some uh, reverb on it. And you really heard it. So, what about if you're gigging and you didn't want the uh, the, the iPad plugged in? Can you... If you didn't want the iPad plugged in, what I'm going to do here. So let's say we don't have an, we don't want to use this app, or you know, we just don't have our iPad with us today. So for in that case, I'm just going to turn this off. I'm going to turn off the, uh, you know, I'll turn my iPad completely off. So what happens right here is the amp comes with four presets built in. I hook up my FBV shortboard. I now have a hundred. So let's look, listen to our um, first preset right here. So what I do is when I bring up these presets, I can just edit them as so, like with all of our other products. <laughs> So we got that. Then our next next one in line, which is a little more of like a lead. I could now my effects blend right here. Check this out. So with my effects blend. I could bring in those effects and then a little reverb. So, 
maybe a little too much. I'll turn that down. Well, let's say we want to clean it up a bit. Yeah. And then straight from there, kind of a little more of a more of a driven tone with some a little bit of an echo to it. So are the, is the, are the tones compatible with other devices? I mean, so could you bring in tones from some of your other line stick, six setups? Um, not so much um, because due to, like, let's say if you had like the Pod HD, you can't transfer that over into this because it's a different platform. Right. It's different. We're, um, like I was saying, you know, we have the Pod HDs. This is more of the Pod XT stuff. So it's not set up for that. But what you can do is, you know, when you're looking at, you know, your tone already preset, you know, in your XT, all you can do is go over into your app and pre-match you know but um to get those other you know those other amps and really be able to choose your you know what mic what effects you're using having a you know having an ios device with the app will really help and has it got any line out capabilities that kind of stuff line out capabilities we don't have any line out it's all line in um, the only other line in other than the guitar we have is a, a 3.5 millimeter input and so you know we could you know use a mic from there or keyboard we also have usb input um, so far it's for updating only, but um, we are expecting to do more with that USB, just to put that out there. And then um, again, our, F our uh, FBV Cat5 connection, which will bring out 100 more presets. And um, you know, with your iPad, you could save as many presets as you want because we're not storing the information in the iPad. All the information's in here. So by me sending a preset from my iPad to the amp, it's, it's, ju it's just a code. It's saying, put this here, 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 and put all the parameters there because it's a preset. So everything's built into the into the amp. You know, some people have wondered, "Oh, is, you know, do I how much is the app so I could use the amp?" And it, well, the app's free. It's nothing's in the app. The app's just the remote. What about weight? Weight? I feel that it's very light. I'm um, off the top of my head. I'm not sure how heavy it is, but just to give an example, two fingers. And this is a 150 watt amp, and I'm not that strong of a guy. Heavy enough, but not too heavy. Exactly. If I could pick up a 150 watt amp with two fingers, that's good. I can't even pick up, you know, a, an all tube head alone with two fingers. So it's very light. It's great for the, um, the musician that's either on the go, a musician who loves to be at home and jam along, and it's quick, it's easy, and very effective. So how much and when? What was that? How much and when? How much and when? The uh, the uh, 75 is mapping out at. Two ninety nine. This one, I believe, is four ninety nine. But we we should double check that. Yeah. Um, when today is the first that the world's ever seen it, so we should be seeing it in stores within the next week or so. Great. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much.